Hello creatives, I'm Joanna Penn and in this video I'm going to show you how I use Publisher Rocket for fiction and non-fiction to look at keywords, categories and Amazon ads. So I'm an affiliate of Publisher Rocket because I think it's a fantastic tool so you can use my link thecreativepen.com forward slash rocket if you want to have a look or you can just go to Publisher Rocket and find it yourself but I would appreciate you using my affiliate link if you find this useful. I will receive a percentage of the sale at no extra cost to you. So let's get into it. So this is Publisher Rocket and of course software changes over time so it might look different when you have a look at it but this is what it looks like as I record this. First of all you can change the market so remember this is for Amazon and you can change it to the various stores so the U USA, the UK store or the German store and at the moment it supports English and German so if you are publishing in these markets then you can check your books there. You can also look at the various different formats as to which uh, whether you want paperback, Kindle or Audible. So I'm just going to stick with the Amazon.com store. So there are lots of tutorials that you can watch uh, in detail but I'm going to just show you a few things that I use this for. So first of all categories. Now remember when we publish on Amazon, when we self-publish we have to choose categories. Now you can choose a couple of categories in the publishing platform but you can also email Amazon to add up to 10 categories per book. So this is super useful to figure out what categories you want to go in and remember Amazon changes their categories quite often so it's worth revisiting. So this is a research tool for you to figure out where your books fit. So uh, I'm writing a travel memoir at the moment so I'm going to put in here travel and what it will do is bring up a whole load of different things so you can see I've put all but I and it starts with audible because it begins with a and you can see that there's different categories I'm just going to put the kindle so you can see so uh, it this what, what this does is essentially help me to see where my books could potentially go so they're not going to go in children's non-fiction if I scroll down you can see there's a lot of different categories for travel what's interesting is you can also look at the the various uh, different things here so there are many small categories where you can be number one in that category even if you like this one for example motorcycle travel you could be 55 thousandth in the store and you can still make it to number one this is how many sales you need to make per day to rank number one so if you really wanted an Amazon bestseller you can have a look at these things to figure out where is a good category for you but remember don't put your books in categories that they don't belong that's just really annoying for readers. So these numbers can actually help you figure out whether you want to put books in these categories for different reasons. I'm not looking at it for that reason but it's up to you. So having scrolled down a bit I can see here that this might be a good category. I'm writing a pilgrimage walking travel memoir so I could definitely put it in hikes and walks. It's also because it's pilgrimage it could go in religious, it could also go in solo travel. So there's a few categories that I could consider and then what I can do is click check it out and it's going to take me there. What I can do is actually have a look at some of the other books that are in that category and figure out whether that is something that I want to uh, put on my book. Let's do fiction, let's say action. So my arcane thrillers are action adventure and here's some examples of where there are action adventure categories for Kindle. So literary fiction, action adventure, it's annoying that it's under literary but this is where it fits in the store and here women's fiction, action and adventure. I'm not in romance so I wouldn't be in there but again so you can see that within these sub genres of romance and sci-fi and fantasy that we've got fantasy action adventure. So these are much more competitive categories you can see that to essentially rank number one in action adventure you have to be pretty high up in the store. So basically how I use this is I will copy and paste each of the categories that I might target and put them into a list and then I email Amazon and say hello can you please add my books to these categories. 
So another way to think about categories is to actually have a look at uh, the competition analyzer and books that are like yours. So I'm going to use the Kindle only and I'm going to use an author called James Rollins who writes action adventure and my arcane thrillers are quite similar. So this brings up a whole load of James Rollins books and this one is his, I think that's the most recent one. You can see here it's got some other um, details. This has a, quite a high price, it's traditionally published and it looks like the monthly sales are around 20 grand. So that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> but again, big name, traditionally published author there. So, but this is what I find useful. So if I click see the categories, what it's gonna do is show me where his books are put in terms of categories and this is where you've got Kindle store you've got books um, and yeah so you can see that they're in a number of different things I don't know why it's in um, ghosts <laughs> But certainly I can see why it's in military and thrillers and techno thrillers and political thriller and suspense. So if it's books, that's the paperback. And if it's uh, Kindle, obviously that's the Kindle. And so again, what I could do is copy and paste these into a list. And then that's what I can use to add those categories to my books. So my books have a rank in more categories. So that is just super useful. Let's just do it with a nonfiction. Let's do solo walking. So this one's interesting, Walking the Thames River Path. I think that is similar in that I'm a solo woman doing a, a walk. So this is more like it. So adventure travel, hiking and specialty solo travel. So again, I will copy and paste these into my list and I'll keep doing research, having a look at each thing. So I'm actually doing the Camino. So I would have a look at this one too. Again, obviously these two are the things it, it's in. So yeah, and I probably could add that one, even though I wouldn't say it's an exercise book. But you can see how this works. You essentially do the research, you get your list, then you email Amazon and you ask them to add your book to the various categories. You can also do other research, export the data and all of that kind of thing. Right, so the next thing is to think about keywords. Now, remember when you publish, you need seven keywords. So this can be a good way to help you research it. So let's use Kindle and we'll just go with something in fiction. We'll go with a vampire, something quite a lot of people will be using. Okay, so here's some really interesting keywords. This, these are essentially what people are searching for on Amazon. So uh, hot vampire next door sounds interesting, but I like this vampire God. Let's see what's happening with this book. All right, so this is interesting. There's, you know, a reasonable amount of searches. Um, it's a very competitive search word. Again, you can have a look at what each of these things mean. If it's red, obviously it's gonna be <laughs> difficult to compete with, but uh, yeah, you can see there's quite a lot of people writing in that as well. But Fred the Vampire Accountant is interesting, <laughs> but obviously there's fewer searches, but it's um, not a particularly competitive <laughs> search term, but yeah. Uh, so what you can then do is click in and find more details. So Vampire God seems to have a couple of uh, interesting things. So this is a non-fiction book, The Allure of the Undead in Western Culture. That actually sounds really interesting. So you can click there again and see the categories. That's a non-fiction book on vampires. This Vampire God, Monsters After Dark. Let's have a look at that. So again, click the categories and see where they are putting those books. But what this also does is give you a whole load of keywords that you might consider. If we go back to the keywords on vampire, what you can do is kind of scroll down and this can give you ideas for your writing. So vampire apocalypse actually sounds quite interesting to me. <laughs> vampire baby romance, I mean, there are some interesting books around that, that's for sure. So you can have a look on here. So um, you va writing a vampire baby romance is not a particularly searched for term, but there's very low competition. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, what you can do is use these. And again, if you find a, let's say you want this search term, you can copy and paste it, or you can use the export button to export the whole list, but then definitely go through and decide which ones are appropriate for you. So let's do some nonfiction and we'll use writing. 
since we're writers. <laughs> so you can, again, you can get some ideas around the various nonfiction keywords. So let's say something like creative writing, there's not that many searches to be honest every month on that keyword. Writing fiction is more interesting. So to be honest with my how to write a novel book, I will probably use writing fiction as a keyword, but you can see how many competitors are in that area. So I hope you can see that what this will enable you to do is figure out what are some good keywords for you to put on your books. So as I'm just uh, having a look at some more of these, this is interesting. This book is called Writing Monsters. And this, <laughs> this kind of stood out at me because that's got an average monthly earnings of $30,000, which seems crazy. So I'm gonna go look at what the hell's going on there. Yes, yeah, so as I suspected, uh, this is the book I've heard of, Philip Athens Writing Monsters, and he's been on my podcast. <laughs> but I was like, surely he's not making that much money. But if you scroll down, you can see that actually what's going on is this is a lit RPG book, which is making over 150 grand in um, uh, a month, <laughs> which is amazing. <laughs> Uh, so this is what's interesting about these types of, of books is you can see data behind the situation. So I hope you can see that Publisher Rocket enables you to have a look at the different things that people are doing and then that will help you with what you want to do for your own book in terms of categories and keywords. Let's just look at the last thing which is the uh, Amazon Ads keyword search. So basically, if you want to use Amazon marketing services or Amazon ads, then you need to enter in various keywords into your ads so that they are served up in various things. So I'm just going to use uh, Kindle. So let's use Monsters. What this will do is give you a list of keywords. What you can do, obviously, you can uncheck stuff or you can export the whole list and then you can import that into your Amazon ads. So what people do suggest is that you do not just copy and paste the whole list, that you do go through things and be a lot more careful. So muscles and monsters, you know, might not be so appropriate. Um, this is obviously a specific book, so maybe I don't want that one or maybe I do want that one. So I would suggest you go through the list, don't just copy and paste the whole list. But this is not a tutorial on ads. I mainly use Publisher Rocket for the keywords and the categories and having a look at different books can obviously give you ideas for what to write if you want to do that too. And if you go to my link, thecreativepen.com forward slash rocket, you will be able to uh, get started right away. There is a 30 day money back guarantee and you can try it out. The team, Dave and the team over at Publisher Rocket are brilliant. So if you have any problems, they'll definitely help you out. So I hope you found this useful and that it's given you an idea about how I use Publisher Rocket for keywords and categories and research in general for both fiction and nonfiction. And again, uh, if you'd like to, please use my affiliate link, thecreativepen.com forward slash rocket. And yeah, happy researching, happy writing.